yard. These kids are herpes. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Thanks so much for joining us. Coach, we'll start with an opening statement from you, and then we'll go into questions for Devin Williams and Thomas Francisco. Coach, whenever you're ready. Yeah, just a really well pitched game by two studs. You know, uh, Rocker was just a tick better. I think they got three extra base hits. We didn't get any extra base hits. He was really tough today. Uh, I haven't watched every one of his outings, but he was as good today as. Anything I watched on video made it really hard on us. And Gavin was really good too. And, uh, you know, we got to be able to score, scratch a couple for us to be able to win a game like that. But Rocker, I tip my hat to him and the two guys that came out of the bullpen for Vandy. Folks, if you have questions for Devin Williams or Thomas Francisco, please use the last word can feature. We'll go into questions for either of the two student athletes. Steven, go ahead. Well, Gavin, uh, obviously we talked a lot about this pitching matchup. I mean, how do you feel like you did out there today, and what was it like pitching that atmosphere? Uh, it was pretty fun. I felt like I, hold, I held my own the whole game. Um, I wasn't trying to do too much. I was just trying to give our uh, team a shot to win. Ryan. The emotions we saw from you. Today, Gavin, what was that like, especially early? I know you were coming 98, 99, uh, getting a good start the first few innings. How did that kind of help you settle in at all? Um, I was just trying to fire my team up, really. Um, I knew it was going back and forth, really, throwing up zeros. I was just trying to get them, get them uh, to get up, get some hits. Trying to get yeah, for Thomas, uh, what about the other side of that? Um, that we know about Rocker, how good he is. Just how difficult was it today? Maybe the, the string together is. Yeah, you know, he did a great job. Uh, he attacked us, and uh, we didn't really stick to our game plan at all. You know, Gavin pitched an unbelievable game and gave us every, every shot to win. We just didn't do a good job of stringing the bats together at all today. So we got to do that if we, if we want to win. Steven, go ahead. Thomas, uh, you obviously opted to, to be aggressive, three zero to eight. Who are you got to get a pitch? Just, just miss it. Um, Tell him like that. Like what happened there? It's not your choice. Yeah, so I got green light, and you know, in that situation, I was uh, guy just came in through three straight balls, and I uh, figured he threw. We thought, thought he'd throw something over the top of the plate, and I was just being aggressive, trying to make something happen, and um, just about it all. Yeah, just tell us how do you guys flush this one and reset for tomorrow, obviously with another challenge. Yeah, we know tomorrow's a new day and you know we have to win two at this point, so it does us no good to worry about what happened today at this point. We just gotta learn from it, come back tomorrow and uh, get it going offensively and you know the pitching staff will keep doing their thing. Ryan. Yeah, it seems like you really kind of handled the moment, the emotions, everything well today. Just uh, did you feel comfortable? You know, just look from us that you look like really comfortable and kind of relished in this moment. Oh, yeah, I did feel comfortable. It's just a, uh, another baseball game. Uh, can't worry about the, the name on the other jersey. Just got to worry about the present moment, really. Ryan, go ahead. Go ahead. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, let's move over to questions for Coach Dottle. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Ronnie, go ahead. Coach, did you feel like during that game, maybe 
he needed a, a home run. It was going to take a home run because it was so difficult during the game. But the string together hits obviously gets him. Uh, no, I, you know, I thought it would take a big swing, like a two out RBI ball in the gap double, you know, when you hit however many singles, three or four singles that we had, it's just tough. I mean, he's, he's really good, um, controls the running game. Once we had opportunity to, you know, make something happen with Norby and Norby got a bad jump and kept running. And, uh, that's just us trying to do too much right there instead of just sticking to our keys and if we get a bad jump, take it. But once we ran one time, he was slide stepping, so it was really, Difficult to do anything offensively when we had a guy at first base. Steven, go ahead. Coach, his ability to land multiple pitches and strikes, how, how tough did that make on the pitch? Yeah, I mean, you saw it. Uh, we struck out 11 times. I don't know the last time that we have been in double digit strikeouts. I'll let Malcolm answer that one. But he had his slider going, his breaking ball going a few change-ups and just really made it to, and he was, you know, he was locating and he was throwing the ball where he wanted to. And plus, he had a pitcher zone, so that was, uh, made it very difficult on our uh, hitters. Steve Newell. I'm good, I'm good right now. All right, go ahead. Um, on the base pass, you know, what did you see from Enrique Bradfield? Did he kind of, you know, affect the defense at all? Like that he's so fast. Did he did he steal a base today? I'm not sure. I don't think he did. Um he well he had the the slide in the eighth inning and then the um like wild pitches thing like that. The infield single. Yeah, the infield single, he, he you know, he's Deion Sanders, so he runs really fast down there. Um, if we'd have done a little bit better job at executing the ball Agnos through to Seth, then he would have been out. Um, and I, I haven't seen the replay. I have no idea. But, uh, you know, we had infield in. Of course, he puts pressure on you. But I thought Gavin did a really good job. He walked to lead off the game and could not steal because Gavin was picking over with a good move and being quick to the plate. All right, you know. Patrick Johnson, go ahead. Uh, Coach, obviously Gavin, the way he pitched, uh, but did the double play, did that make a decision easier to send him back out uh, in the eighth? Gavin uh, didn't want to come out of the game even when he came out of the game. Um, I, I thought he was as good as he's been all year, especially the length that he went. Um, I don't know exactly how long he went, but he, he did a really good job. Austin. Coach, what are going to be your main adjustments for the game tomorrow? Well, we're facing a different pitcher, so we'll have uh, to uh, have a different plan because they're totally two different guys. Ronnie. Coach, I mean, this game in many ways seemed to live up to the, the billing and the hype because it's a really good game at this point in the postseason. How proud are you of Gavin for just keeping you in it inning after inning, you know, pretty gutty before to kind of keep you right there? I'll take Gavin Williams over anybody in the country. And I know we got beat today, but I'll take that guy. That guy, we ain't sitting here in Nashville without that guy. So I'll take him every single step of the way. So last one, Patrick Johnson. But you said you did not uh, see the replay. What was the explanation you were given? You don't get any explanations. You can't talk to umpires after replay. You get thrown out. So, no explanation. Thank you. Coach, Gavin Thomas, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow.